Yo, 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 what it do with it, speaker, baby. This that boy soldier checking back in the building, man, with another fire classic message, y'all. And in this in particular message, y'all, you already see the picture on the screen, so I gotta dive straight into this, yo. I gotta dive straight into this, yo. And this is for my true one third real one, real ones, man, take notes on what I'm finna say. And also, this is a warning directly from the Holy Spirit, yo. This is a warning message, yo. To all other speakers and so-called teachers out here, man. This is a warning directly from Yahweh the Father. And I'm grieved in the spirit, yo. I'm grieved in my spirit right now, yo. You know what I'm saying? Because I just got word, yo. That brother Kwame, yo, who you see in the picture right here, is actually really dead, y'all. He actually died. I don't know when, I don't, I don't know how, but this dude is dead, y'all. This dude is dead. And I'm not here to praise this dude death. I'm not here to mock him. I'm not here to hurt him in any way, man. I am grieved in the spirit because this dude's supposed to have been a real brethren, bro. You see, when you came to me, bro, you know what I'm saying? You messed up when you did them videos towards me, bro. You see? And me personally, y'all, I came in love since the start of this journey with all these dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is what brought the line out of me. You niggas bring the line out of me. Y'all niggas brought the line out of me with this competition spirit. So only come at the ones that came at me. You see? But Brother Kwame, yo, agrees me in the spirit, yo. You know what I'm saying? To see what you battled against me against in life, bro. Y'all only, all you dudes got one thing in common against Soldier, yo. Y'all hate my style and y'all hate the way I just express myself and the way I'm ripped. I am, yo, I'm a warrior type of dude for real, a celebrity type dude for real. I just don't like to sh do videos and, you know what I'm saying, show out or nothing like that. You see, and when I was taking my shirt off doing the messages on my old channel, y'all know I'm built, you know what I'm saying, to fight. I'm built on some other shit, and I was trying to train other niggas in love, you see. But no, you niggas reacted in your spirits with these demons that I've been getting my whole life, these, these fucking spirits of hatred, you see. And this is the area where this dude right here battled me in, just like the rest of you all, you know what I'm saying? When, when we all, you see, when y'all could have learned from me and got in shape like me and or surpassed me, you see what I'm saying? We could have been getting in shape together for years instead of this back and forth hatred. And this is why it's grieving me to hurt to know that, it's hurting me to know that Brother Kwame is in the spirit realm. When he really was a good dude, he just had a demon in him. And Yahweh the Father is sick of this in the kingdom amongst the brethren, yo. He's sick of this in the kingdom, you see. And when I heard this, yo, Yahweh was like, son, do this message and let the other brethren, let the brethren out here know these so-called fake brethren know, you know what I'm saying? He takes this seriously, or y'all better stop this stuff, yo. Stop this hating in the spirit of other brethren, man, because we better than you in some type of way, you see. And I'm talking about it'll be the main one with me personally. I'm a real one, so I, it's the niggas that look up. I looked up to to do this shit to me. You got knowledge I looked up to, but why you? Why I can't give you nothing to look up to me about? Why you fucking gotta hate? All these fuck niggas do this to me, and it's a demon spirit. This how my real ones no take notes. I'm a real servant. You see, and what I say come to pass. And these demons in the spirit realm, there's some ancient shit using y'all niggas. And Yahweh, the father, he wanted me to let y'all know right now for you cursed ones that, 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 you, you cursed elder, you other motherfucker, uh, this Teorio, you discluded. I don't even fuck with you no more. You so fake. And so this basically aimed at the elder, bro. You owe me a true apology, bro. This is a warning. Are you next, bro, for this fucking fake hating spirit? Yahweh want this to stop in the kingdom. And any other motherfucker that don't like me, all you other two-thirds who agree with this hating ass energy that these dudes put out, all y'all owe me an apology. Y'all owe me some money and all that shit. And y'all need to unsubscribe from these dudes if they can't give an open an apology. And y'all need to repent. And all y'all going to hell together anyway, y'all fucking curse. Because I'm giving details that y'all need to move off with the Holy Spirit. But y'all feeding into this hating ass energy. And I'm only coming at the motherfuckers that I, you know what I'm saying, that I, that, that, that I looked up to, you know what I'm saying, you know, or either came at me. And it's the same energy with all you motherfuckers that ever came at me. You see. And with Brother Kwame, yo, you know. Yahweh is sad, but Yahweh used them as an example, yo. 
You see, stop this in the kingdom right now in the name of Yahshua, yo. You see? And brother T. Oreo, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if I'm wrong, prove me wrong, bro. Because I know you watching my stuff. Prove me wrong. And if you a real dude, I apologize. And then you owe me in a fucking apology still, nigga. Y'all some fuck niggas. Evil, jealous niggas. And, and, and that's the thing that's missing in y'all spirits. This is why y'all can't show y'all niggas nothing else. And if you guys do not repent in some type of way... Yahweh going to X y'all off next one by one. And what soldiers say come to pass. And this meet these miscellaneous attacks, is, they, they, they come out the blue, you see, in different ways with you niggas. Like with this nigga brother Kwame, yo, you know, he just started attacking me subliminally. I didn't got attacked by Israelite camps this way and all. They had mocked me and my boxing videos. They had mocked me. You know what I'm saying? When I'm putting in the work trying to teach them, they had mocked me. And this is what he started with. He had mocked me, you know what I'm saying, with the, uh, he had mocked me, you know what I'm saying, with my exercise and all of that. Many of you bitch ass niggas still watch me that done this. And this dude that done this when we could have, you know what I'm saying, when Yahweh want us to come together and build on his kingdom and y'all build yourselves up as warriors. But no, these niggas came at me in levels with weird fucking messages and subliminal ways. And the most recent attack with brother Kwame, yo, this the real reason why he died, yo. And I warned him that he was going to die if he don't repent for that last fucking message you did about me out the blue. This nigga picked some dude on the porno. He picked the calm shot. He picked a weird angle of a dude that looks somewhat like me, some skinny, dark skinned dude. Had a beard kind of shaped like I shaped my beard. And this dude made up a total bald face lie and said it was me. And I'm talking about he left it up for like two to three hours, you know what I'm saying? And I'm seeing plenty of people thumbing it up. Curse motherfuckers that don't know me, that ain't never received my messages anyway because of the fucking debating and the fake hating. They agreeing with this fuck shit lie. I don't know if this dude knew he was finna die and all this stuff. That's why he did it or whatever. Maybe he did. But if he didn't, oh, he marked himself for sure for death that day when he did that. And I did a, a message immediately right after. Y'all can see it if you scroll down. I did a message immediately right after warning dude telling you, bro. Yahweh, he's finna X you out for this, bro. Repent now for that bald face lie, bro. That's some hater ass shit. You see? And that's what got him X'd out, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I can't even post this on YouTube or nothing because I'm so grieved about it. You know what I'm saying? And your little brothers and stuff watch my stuff too. It's not the bash. You him, you know what I'm saying? I, I like the y'all niggas personally, y'all. I want to see what more y'all had to offer. But it wasn't nothing but debates and hating, bro. And y'all would want this shit to stop. And I told this brother, yo, he was going to pass away for this, man. And lo and behold, man, this, this shit happens, man. And the way I found out is through another brother's video that he done the same thing too, yo. And and, and it's, it's, it's messed up how this brother gave him the same warning. Cause Yahweh been wanted this brother Kwame to stop because you type of dudes get a kick out of this and you know a lot of dudes too you ain't even sent and y'all making these channels doing this getting a kick out of these debates and foolishness saying y'all sent by the most high and y'all are not and with this dude yo he got the same attack from brother Kwame you know it started off as a debate you know and it went on to brother Kwame tarnishing his character with a fuck video with a fake ass video and you're about to hear it when I play this dude, you know, a uh, little story on how Brother Kwame died or whatever. I don't know. He don't. He ain't going to say the details. He the one that I got the info from that Brother Kwame did. We don't know the details. I don't know if his family will ever do a video about it. But this dude explains how Brother Kwame, you know, him and Brother Kwame got into a debate about food or whatever. And, uh, you know... The dude goes on to explain how he has a mental illness and he was struggling with mental illness at that time. He, he explains, you're about to hear it. He, he says he was struggling with mental illness as he's debating with Brother Kwame and Brother Kwame, you know, not only wins the debate with him about the little food debate with him, Brother Kwame goes on to do these type of video that he does and tarnish this dude character for being retarded. He tarnished this dude character for being retarded. 
you see which made this dude right here who you're about to hear it made this dude so hurt in the spirit where he took all his facebook pages he took his little facebook page down youtube channel down hurt in the spirit contemplating suicide and he say the holy spirit told him that day to tell brother kwame that i'm finna x you out that i'm finna you know what i'm saying that he's finna be destroyed and he say he told brother kwame this you see next thing you know brother kwame did and this is what I'm saying, you know, when I heard this, the Holy Spirit wanted me to do like a double confirmation and a double warning to you two third people out there and you other speakers out there. Stop with this cursed ass attacks and fake debates. A lot of you ain't even chosen doing this. Stop with this stuff in the name of Yeshua. Stop with this hatred, with this hatred of the brethren. And also too for my one third peep game, you know, um, you know, peep game, yo, Yahweh, he don't like this this bashing of other people that Yahweh may speak to don't bash nobody if they retarded or whatever now in this dude even if you watch this dude channel who was about to tell his testimony he only got one like for this video he only got like 38 subscribers because you can clearly see he has a mental illness and brother Kwame saw that and the public see that you see and brother Kwame went on to tarnish this dude name and Yahweh hates that. Y'all don't, yo, yo, people out there don't do stuff like that to people. I don't give a fuck. Yahweh speak to who he wants. You see, Yahweh will speak to somebody retarded and to, before the end come and let you know that your warning is real. To, to get a warning out of it, it'll be totally real. I don't give a fuck. Don't ever bash nobody. Testimony if they retarded, got a mental illness or whatever. You see? This is what Brother Kwame did. Yahweh takes this type of stuff seriously. And all you two-thirds subscribers who agree with false information from fake leaders and teachers and selfish speakers who want to speak against their brethren for their self-rise. Y'all some cursed motherfuckers who support this type of shit. Y'all some cursed motherfuckers who support any motherfucker that is separating the brethren. Fuck y'all motherfuckers. And this is why I got a lot of subscribers. I mean, this is why I got a lot of downloads from people from other motherfuckers' channels who hate it on mine, but they ain't coming to my shit. Cause this the real aura right here but y'all just curse people and this 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 spirit gotta stop i've been attracting this curse type of spirit as a true servant my whole life and i rebuke it in the name of yahshua yahweh sadly like i say he had to use brother kwame here as an example so all you followers under people like this y'all need to repent and if you a dude out there making a channel like this y'all niggas need to heed to this warning from yahweh man now with that being said it's enough said on my end yo i'm gonna let this dude say his little piece about brother kwame and how they got into it and the warning he gave kwame and i'm gonna shut this down this is soldier for yahweh production and this lines in the camp like i said i'm very grieved to do this man you know because you know these you know we supposed to be better in the kingdom than this you know but it is what it is yahweh the father is mad you know so this your boy soldier checking out I'm about to let this dude do his thing uh this is a warning from y'all brother kwame ricks was his real name and brother kwame ricks is dead y'all you see shit crazy man you know what i'm saying so let me just get up out of here let him do his thing i'll be right back with much much more you know and uh for my real ones just so game and everything i just said is i want to just upload this and just let it go with one take this is from yahweh and just take notes too, y'all, because this confirms a lot of things. What soldiers say here is real. When I give off a message and it applies to your life and you don't do it, you become cursed. This confirms a lot that what soldiers say is real. You can scroll down to the warning I gave him while he was alive. What I say over here is real. And this is why all you two-third motherfuckers that hate me and that's fake, y'all are cursed. And the closer you come to me to play with me, death coming to y'all. Your witchcraft, your voodoo, and nothing you try to do ain't working against me. I'm a real one. It's your boy soldier checking out, man. Let me let this brother do his thing, man. I'm out, y'all. One. Trumpet. All praises to the Most High.
the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the righteous one, who was, who is, and who is to come. So I want to start off by saying, the YouTube community lost a soldier who was bold for Jesus Christ, who did a lot of great things for Jesus Christ. The band, the unbelievers, like the Egyptology believers who worship other gods and he destroyed them in a sense of their doctrines of devils was destroyed. And every other good work he ever did, praise God for that. But this message is a warning to those who worship Kwame Rex. This is a warning to his family members who, who possibly have done witchcraft against him. This is for those who just follow him and think he's a righteous, he was a righteous man dealing with, per, 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 not talking about any other thing he did in his life, but basically focused on his teachings. I'm not going to focus on his teachings, but a lot of his teachings was of the devil. But this video is not to bash him. This video is not to speak bad about him. This is a warning message because God has sent his prophet me to warn him. Start off by saying, Oh, well, Heavenly Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who saved our life from the power of Satan. May those who are listening, who are mourning for the death of their son, their brother, their father, because he was a father, may comfort them through this message. May they have an open heart to receive this message before they even come to this message. If there are any retaliation spirits or, or, or those in the flesh who done who is doing witchcraft in his life, if they come against me, may you bind and rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Chastise those because you love them. Lord God, be giving them a fair warning to me right now with this spirit. And they must repent and turn from their witchcraft practices. I pray that you receive this message and I pray that you be comforted because he was in Christ. So that's a blessing in itself. But his voice Jesus was not a blessing. God has a word for that per se. have not done it. Verse 7 says, surely the Lord does nothing, but he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. And in 2020, or 2019, me and him, I wanted to do a debate with him, a godly debate, on if we could eat the Old Testament unclean foods. He said we can't, I say we can, God said we can. He taught, he, he taught falsely, but it's not about his teachings right now. The point I'm saying that is, he said he wanted to challenge me for that debate since 2019. For some reason, whatever happened in his life, it didn't happen until 2021, December. It's on his YouTube, it's on his um Facebook page. You can see it. But that's not even the point. It is important because it's a testimony to prove all things. Well, I don't know about that. Scripture prove all things, but all I know is we debated. He said I um denounced the Bible. He has followers, those who worship him, believe that I denounced the Bible, that I deleted all my Facebook accounts and all my YouTube accounts and everything because he destroyed me and the doctrines. And he basically, um, he mocked me because I was going through spiritual warfare, not mental illness. They call it mental illness, but it's spiritual warfare. And I was confused at that time because I was, I was on a verge of attempted suicide, not necessarily, but the devil wanted me to. And he made a mockery out of me. And then in 2020, God told me to take me. Well, I heard in my spirit when I was in messenger. I heard the words, He is going to be destroyed. That's what I heard in my spirit. So I immediately told him because I felt that it was the Lord. Because of many things he said on Facebook. 
He said many people tried to drive him off the road while he was driving to the highway so several times. <coughs> say he, he said he caught COVID. I caught COVID. I almost died because God been warning me for my against my sins that I was committing against God and against other people, and that's against women having sex with prostitutes. God warned me, just like he warned Kwame. So I warned Kwame. He didn't take heed necessarily. He didn't message me about, back about it. He seen the message. He heard the message. He didn't repent. 